What's up guys, Reverend Saint here, and you guys did it. You hit 100 likes on the last RTP episode, and actually you guys did it within a few hours, which blew my mind. You guys overshot it, got 120 some likes within the first few hours of me releasing the video. Now I know I said I'd get it out right away, but it's actually more of like I'm going to start doing it right away. Like I'll record it right away and then upload it. It's obviously going to take a little bit, but here it is for you guys to enjoy. 55 and 2 start off with the DSR 50 it's really nice I hope you guys enjoy it. my first nuclear like I, I I've always come super close and like just cho either choked or gotten BS like people spawning on my behind for no reason like I'm standing there and literally two feet behind me they'll spawn and get me stuff like that happens to me like on like every game almost pretty much and it's just really rough to get those big medals like like the nuclears when that stuff like that happens all the time so it's really rough and, uh, but I finally got it. I get 31, actually, and then, yeah, you'll actually see him spawn, like, literally right on top of me. There'll be, like, oh, like, I'll kill one guy, and then, and that'll be my 31st, and then, boom, their entire team's just right in front of me, and they just pop up. It's like, holy crap, man, that is so uncool. But, nonetheless, I did get the nuclear, so at the time, I really didn't care too much, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. 55 and 2, crazy good gameplay, and I, I'm so proud of it. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. You guys got 100 likes, 100 plus likes on that video within a few hours. Like, I, I'm kind of ecstatic right now. That's freaking awesome. It, does, it hasn't even said it hit 100 views yet, which it obviously did because it's got over 100 likes. It says it's got 80 views right now, but like 126 likes. That's insane to me. I'm like, that's so cool, dude. So thanks so much for your support, guys. I'm so glad you guys wanted to see this video. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy it because I'm super proud of it because I beat Mr. Prestige's key to getting a nuclear. We're both pretty much in the same boat with our luck. Like, we'll be getting there. We'll get, like... 29 kills or we'll get our brutal medal and then some bs crazy bs will happen it's happened to happens to ryan very occasionally like uh not very occasionally very often is what i'm trying to say like uh, like every couple games i play with him he'll get like uh relentless and then he'll be like okay i got my relentless i'm going for it and then boom he dies right as he says he's going for it so that's pretty much our luck guys but i was able to get it here and i really hope you guys enjoy it now, the one question I do want to bring up, and this is what I really wanted to talk about in this video, and I got plenty of time because it's domination. <laughs> um, what are your guys' opinions on big kill streaks like the Moab or the game ending kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2, like to, the, the, the nuke? Obviously, the nuke. I couldn't remember what it's called. What's your opinion on? Do you want them? Do you like them? Do you not want them? Do you not like them? Do you, are you okay with the Moab but not with the nuke? Are you okay with the nuke as long as it's like a 40 or 50 kill streak? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on this as well as me giving mine, obviously. Now, personally, I, I do prefer it not to be there. But I always have liked just having that big kill streak to work for and getting it and just dropping it, and it, as well as like everyone else's jaws just dropping. I loved getting Moabs, honestly, I really did, and I really strived towards getting nuke because I, I was terrible at Modern Warfare 2 when I first played it. I got one nuke and then I sold the game, then I got the game back, and I got like five or six. And soon after that is when I started uh, doing videos for the first time. Like I, I wasn't going big yet, and actually trying hard and making videos. On the ad like every once in a while like every day or every other day or whatever i was just making them when i could essentially but the reason i started is like you know i think i'm kind of good at Marvel for two i'm getting nukes all the time it's kind of fun uh, it's more fun to watch than, than black ops one and uh, i'm gonna do this so i started doing that and as soon as i started recording videos i sucked at my warfare 2 i could not get a nuke for the life of me so <laughs> that's just kind of how it was for me and then uh, i enjoyed working for them but i hated getting hit by them and i hated the fact that they ended the game to me it, it, it just like right now how i'm thinking is like if you're gonna put something that ends the game it's gotta be 40 or 50 kills without dying it's gotta be something crazy like that so let me know what your guys' opinion on that is, but in Black Ops 2, they completely dumped the big kill streak. Like, the big kill streaks were the chopper gunner and the dogs, and they were uber deadly. Like, you go crazy, get crazy amounts of kills with those 100 plus games easy because they were so easy to get, especially in Nuketown. If you drop those dogs and a chopper gunner on Nuketown, boom, baby, you are dropping some bulls, man. Seriously, it's, it's just absolutely insane the amount of stuff that you could do with the or the amount of kills you could get with the dogs and the chopper gunner like that's why my kd was so good because those 
those uh those kill streaks were so powerful and easy to get that it's so easy to go you know 10.0 18.0 20.0 in the game and not die at all so that's just something that like I, I enjoyed it for a little bit but it got boring because i didn't have anything to strive to achieve like the big kill streaks and i really like the moab in modern warfare 3 and how it was only gun kills and how like specialist was there to help you get there if you wanted it to be that's where i got most of my ammo. I, I think only the only time I got Moabs was when I was using Specialist, actually. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I love Specialist. I thought Specialist was an amazing uh, addition to the game. And I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting them to bring it back in Ghosts. But, uh, like I said, like I, I love the Moabs, but it's just, after a while, it kind of gets frustrating. It's like you get them, and then you get, like, 24, and right before you get that 25th kill, you just get BS. That happened to me 40 or 50 times in Modern Warfare 3. I only ended up dropping, like, like, f like between 5 and 10 Moabs in Modern Warfare 3 because I would always choke or get BS, like, from across the map or from some camper or something crazy like that or get knifed from super uber far away for no reason and to me it was just so frustrating that i stopped trying to get them after a while it was just like okay i'm just gonna play just gonna play to win type of thing and then black ops 2 came out and uh i didn't really know the the medals went up that high at the time i really didn't pay too much attention uh but i do commemorate Treyarch for doing what they did. They did, obviously didn't want to put those crazy, crazy kill streaks in there. And personally, I think they did a really good job at making the kill streaks not too overpowered in this one, and put, put, kind of putting it more on the gun on gun action a bit. Now it's, they're still really powerful, but they're not nearly as OP as they were in Black Ops One, in Mod Two, and in Modern Warfare Three. And you don't have those gigantic kill streaks like the Nuke or the Moab or anything like that. But to you know com commendate the people who do get like crazy high kill streaks with their guns like that they put in the medals so you get the bloodthirsty you get the merciless you get the the ruthless you get the relentless you get the brutal and then you get the nuclear and then anything after that any kill after that is unstoppable and you get those every time you get a kill afterwards so to me that is like good in my opinion as much like what they do with halo i love halo's metal system they don't really do kill streaks but you do have the metals to work towards and that's something that i really like about it like in fact halos i think go all the way up to 50 and if you get a 50 kills without dying you get an unfriggin believable that's literally what it's called so i i personally love the name of that metal i'd love to have all games get have a name like that for a metal if you do that good i mean yeah it is pretty unfriggin believable so uh, but that's just my opinion on the kill streaks. Let me know what you guys think. And also, would you like to see some sort of big kill streak in Ghosts when it comes out? We're going to get a really big look at Call of Duty Ghosts very soon. I don't know if it's going to be multiplayer or not. Uh, they didn't say, but they said multiple levels. So they're going to be showing that June 9th. Uh, I think at 9 p.m. You can check it out on their Twitter or on the uh, the official Call of Duty site. So I'll probably put the link in the description down below. But definitely check that out, guys, if you're interested in it. I know I am, and I can't wait. I'm ready for it, man. June 9th. Be there, guys. So would you like to see a big kill streak in COD Ghost? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a favorite, and a comment. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.